Guys, good evening. Can't say morning because it's six o'clock at night. <laughs> Jill's uh, finishing up on her treadmill right there. And that's going good. I'm very proud of her. And um, what's I gonna do? I'm just gonna lower the TV so you could hear me I'm watching the Olympics here. But uh, we just got some good news while Jill was on the treadmill. She was online and read that um, the medication that she's been taking, the Tezacafta, Ivacafta combo, the Sun and Moon. It has a name, guys. Sun and Moon Med has now been approved by the FDA, which is amazing. And, um, it's called Simdeco. I'll let Jill take it from here. Yeah, it's called, um, oops, my hand. It is called um, Sim, Simdeco. And it is now FCA approved. So, um, awesome. for patients 12 and older. For patients 12 and older with um, the same mutation that I have, Delta F508. So, patients who have double copy of Delta F508, and also patients who have one copy of Delta F508 and another mutation. So, we weren't expecting that is it pretty to awesome. So we, we were not expecting that. So that is amazing news, and that's gonna help many, many, many patients out there. Especially from what I was reading online, like the medication, the Orcombi was amazing. It really, really was. I had um, some difficulties with it, but that helped a lot, a lot of people, and really changed lives. And I know this one is gonna do the same. So now, how and, many people um, has Vertex um, helped so far? What's like the percentage? I'm not a hundred percent sure. Hey guys, so I just finished my um, chest PT. Somebody over here is on the treadmill. I'm really proud of him. He's been on the treadmill for 45 minutes. Check that out. Wow, 2.2 miles. Keep up the good work, honey. I'm really, really proud of you. Finished at... 60, what, 63 minutes and 36 seconds. Wow. Hey guys, so it is pill time. And um, I'm finishing my last IV for the night. It is 1.30 a.m. And um, for some reason my IVs are taking a very long time to run. Instead of taking an hour each, they're taking like an hour and 20 minutes each. Sometimes an hour and a half. So, um, I think this needle to my port, I mean, it's sort of on an angle. When it was first put in, it didn't go in exactly the right way. But, um, kind of looks like it's on an angle a little bit. But the good thing is my nurse is coming tomorrow morning, bright and early. She'll be here by 9.45 and, and 10 a.m. to draw bloods and change the needle and dressing and everything so hopefully this time it goes in nice and straight and we don't have any issues and it's been a little sluggish uh flushing it so yeah these ivs are taking a lot longer than they should hey guys sorry for my crazy hair but um i just got up from a nap i'm going back to work in a few minutes good she morning over here she, up. she has a story to tell you later but anyway oh, she yeah, got something in the mail I just ripped part of it. I'm going to cover the address. But she got an invitation for the luxury card. Luxury oh. card, it says. Oh. She said you're invited. Oh, I just ripped part of it. Sorry, guys. Guys, good afternoon. Just taking my anti-nausea medication. And then going to start my uh, afternoon IVs. And, um... Today is actually day six. I had to count day six of IVs. And, um, yeah, yesterday was an eventful day, and uh, I'm just going to finish up my uh, nebulizers in a couple of minutes. Once this finishes, I'll look up my IVs, and after I finish my nebulizers, I will explain to you guys the eventful day that I had with my port. Happy oh, music up. <laughs> Hello. Happy Valentine's Day. We're here at the diner. We didn't really make plans tonight because she hasn't been feeling, you know, too good. She's been on IV and stuff, so. Yeah. Um, so, we just decided to come to the diner. Uh, one of our favorite diners, Woodrow, which we love. So, uh, we're here now. We're going to eat. 
I got a steak and Joe got, what did you get? I got a uh, seafood risotto and normally I don't get that in a uh, diner because I don't know how it is but here I get it because we know the owners and stuff and we know everyone pretty well here so I trust their food. Oh, they ran out of um, the octopus for the uh, seafood risotto so he asked if I wanted extra calamari so I said sure. Oh, it's different things in it? Yeah, it was different That's seafood. Cool. So I said, So I'm gonna shave maybe tomorrow while it's while I'm ahead. Because usually I wait and then it gets I painful. get annoyed, I go pinchy. How about a nice hand Stop. for our new oh, way to Lola? Some, we got we live music going on tank. here. We got a DJ, um, check this out. Yeah. I got chicken orzo soup. We got a nice uh, French onion soup. We got some, we got some delicious garlic bread here. Garlic bread. So you can take some of my stuff. Oh, yeah. Just that looks like like this yeah. one with onion. Mm -hmm. This is shell steak mm -hmm. with um, broccoli, garlic, mash, and I got, got my risotto over here. Yeah. But it's a lot of food. Yeah. It's good. Setting up your nebulizer so you don't have to move. <laughs> it's so sweet of you. Look at this. He's got everything set up for me. It is that time of night, it is pill time, and um, time to test my sugar, and um, just finished the last IV infusion, it is 1.45 a.m., and I just finished my chest PT, I was running a little late tonight with that, so, on IVs it's been very long nights, as you guys know, I explained everything's taken so long, and um, look, Sarah, you got my pills ready. He left me a little note. Anyway, he's truly the best. And um, I really am blessed to have him. He's always helping me out to help run my meds and everything. And uh, he's just so thoughtful. And um, him getting all my pills out for me is really a big help. So thank you, honey, for doing that. And uh, yep, I really am blessed. So. I'm going to take my pills, and I didn't get to explain to you guys what happened yesterday with the port. So anyway, to make the story hopefully short and as easy as possible, pretty much the bottom lumen was accessed last week to start the IV meds, and uh, the nurse came yesterday to change the needle, and um, she re-accessed the bottom one, because it's been very sluggish, so we figured to change the needle, and hopefully that would help. And um, she drew bloods, and we did a peripheral instead of drawing the bloods from the port, so that way we wouldn't hopefully mess anything else up. So, um, but unfortunately, the nurse that I had, she was sweet as anything, and very good nurse. But we were having a little difficulty. My port is pretty difficult to um, to access because I have a double lumen, and it's up and down from each other, as you guys I've shown you. So. This one now is the top one is accessed, and right below it is the bottom one, and they're very, very close. They're right on top of each other, so it's not always the easiest. It takes practice, and I obviously, I don't know how to do it. I still haven't learned, and I really should. But it takes practice to, um, to learn how to deal with this type of port and to learn how to access it properly. So the nurse that I had yesterday morning, um, unfortunately, she put the needle on an angle. And when the needle's on an angle, it doesn't always flush properly. And therefore, it's very difficult for the meds to run through and it can take double the time, which is what was happening. And when you go to flush it, it doesn't flush properly and you have a really difficult time pushing the saline through. So, the needle, the first needle that was put in last week was running very slow, as I explained to you guys. So the second needle yesterday, I thought it was going to run better and... Unfortunately, it was running even worse, and um, so it um, it didn't really work any better. So the home care company got me a different nurse to come last night, and uh, you know because I couldn't keep the needle on an angle because it just there was no way for me to even fix if there was a clot or anything there, being that it was sluggish, there was no way for me to even fix it with the needle on an angle because I couldn't get direct access to it. So we had to have the needle changed. So we changed it again 
Last night I had another nurse come who um, was more familiar with my type of port. So she came and she got it perfectly and straight. And um, so we went in the top port instead. We said, let's go into the top one because the bottom one was very irritated. And so the top one was pretty sluggish. So um, who's to say it was really the needle, but the needle still could not stay on an angle like that. It was uncomfortable. So either way, it had to be changed. But anyway, um, long story short, we figured out there has to be something wrong with the port. But it was kind of sluggish, but the nurse had left, and it was manageable. It was, it was working not well. And um, after the first antibiotic that I infused, the nurse was already gone, and um, the port completely stopped working. The antibiotic ran through. It took two hours instead of one hour. I still had another antibiotic left to do and a saline hydration. And um, when I went to flush it, it completely stopped. I could not get any saline in. I couldn't even flush out the medication. So um, I actually was talking to my nurse, my previous nurse from the other home care company, who you guys know, Tara. And um, I was talking to her and uh, she always figured out how to fix everything. And um, that's her specialty. And so she's just amazing. And she walked me through how to pretty much fix it without hopefully having to use um, the medications that unclot it because right now I can't really have any blood thinners or medication that would unclot it due to the hemoptysis cluffing up blood. So I know they're not gonna be able to give me that medication. So um, yeah, so what would my options really be? A peripheral IV or I don't know what they would wanna do. So um, after working on drawing out blood from it and pushing it back in and taking off the um, taking off the syringe with the blood in it, discarding it, and after working on it, I finally got it to unclog. I heard like a gurgling, swishing sound go through my chest, and finally it cleared. But what she had told me to do, which was the last resort, she said, try this one last thing, and it was to take this blue cap off. So I untwisted the blue cap, cleaned everything, and I went directly into here, which made it a lot easier, and I was able to clear it out. So Tara, thank you so much. I really cannot thank you enough. And um, you saved me last night. So thank you, you truly are the best. And um, yeah, I'm missing Tara tremendously. So um, due to insurance purposes, I wasn't able to keep the home care company that she works for and everything, so it just, uh, it sucks. So, anyway, so that's why you guys haven't seen Tara as far as my home care nurse goes, but, um, yeah. So that's the situation that's going on. Anyway, so it seems to be working fine now. It was a tad bit sluggish before, so, um, I'm hoping I don't have to go through tomorrow what I went through last night and trying to fix it again, but, um, Anyway, that's the story, and I'm going to take my pills and test my sugar and everything and head to bed. So, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow, and thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day.